Today, Fat Bastard and I are going to talk to you about Kinetic Asian Pacific. Have I ever talked to you guys about Kinetic Asian Pacific? I think so. This is a company, uh, it's in the, I don't know if it's China or Korea. It's one of those countries over there. But I've ordered stuff from them many, many times. Um, I actually was going to get out everything that I've, I've gotten from them and I forgot. I also got my bearing thing from them as well. So uh, I got my bearing removal tool from them. I've ordered bearings from them. Um, I also have this. They have, this is the... Um, shit, what's the name of this? Hold on. It's the Horizon. What's cool about it is you can put these little balls in there. Makes it um, not spin as fast, but um, it's got this cool little jingle to it. Of course, I had to get it in copper, but I've also had it. They have a try one, which is pretty epic. And they also make them in tungsten. And I'm going to put a link to their website. And they always have stuff in stock, which is really nice. And their shipping is pretty fast. Um, they also have these collisions. Now, this is an old version of one. I traded with somebody um, a knife for this thing, and this is like one of my favorite spinners ever. Um, but they have updated version. But this is a collision. And then I also have um, this one, which is the more updated version of the um, collision, but it's a full size. I have a different button on there, but it's still cool as hell. Look how fat this fucker is. Um, so my friend bought the, one of their new spinners called the Catla, which I think is like named after a sword or am I thinking something else? But he sent it to me to try. Um, and so I kind of wanted to do like a little overview of, um, Kinetic Asian Pacific. That's the name of the place and they have a website and it's pretty good. But before I get into all of that, I just kind of wanted to shout out to this guy. Now, I don't know if he would want me to name drop him, but this guy has like been a friend of mine until since the very beginning. And um, he supplied me with some awesome, awesome stuff. Um, uh, my Compaform Gravaspa. Um, he supplied me with these chonky babies. I've showed these a couple times. He sent me numerous things to um, review. Um, now, I will say, I've bought this stuff off of him. However, he could have made a ton more money. He, like, bought, he, like, sent me this stuff, like, kind of at cost, almost. When you buy and sell stuff, it takes a lot of effort to kind of be the one to buy the stuff first before anybody else. Like... For instance, you know, he bought a couple of these spinners from this dude. Um, I don't know even know where he he found the dude, but these are old, old spinners. Um, and um, he got like a, a, a really good deal on them. Um, and then he sent me some, you know, like he let me, um, actually gave me a couple for free and then... Um, sold me some but you kind of have to like be there so like somebody might sell like for instance this uh, sage which is a highly sought after um spinner and i think he sold it to me for like 200 or something but like people would be willing to buy this thing for way more so somebody might like sell it and not know what it's worth and then people swoop in but anyway, he has hooked me up on a lot of these things. So like some of the first ever spinners, believe it or not, I had this version of a knockoff on Amazon first. This was like one of the first ever spinners I had. This is the clam shell. Um, this one also, I love it. He also hooked me up with version one of the Triqueta from Compaform. Um, and also this guy, this pillar. In order to get some of these, I had to sell my um, Zoom. <laughs> that thing was like 400 bucks, but I was able, once I sold that, I was able to get these things. Um, 
but anyway, I just kind of wanted to give him a shout out because uh, some of my best pieces is because of him. And sometimes he'll buy stuff just to like sell it to me. So like, dude, you're freaking awesome. And he sends me stuff all the time to check out. Just super nice dude. Anyway, thank you. All right, so back to Kinetic Asian Pacific. So, um, they also have these cool sliders. Have you, have I ever show, I've shown, I've showcased the Aztec slider that they have, um, before. Oh, that's one of theirs. Um, and they're always in stock. Like, right? I just went on the website and one was like 90 bucks. It's right there. You can buy it brand new. Um, and they also have this other one that's like a doomsday one. Um, they've got these, some like, it's not like a clip bar, but it's like a, a eclipse thing where the thing, there's like a ball that flips around. Um, okay. So this is the Catla, which is a spinner. It, it's not, I know that it is not, um, copper, but, um, it's heavy as fuck. So let's see here. He, um. He sent me two of them or one? God, there's, looks like there's two things in here. Okay. Oh, there's one spinner, but there's interchangeable weights. Oh my God, this thing is heavy. God, is this in tungsten? <gasps> wow. Okay, I'm gonna tighten the buttons a little bit. Wow. Bro, this thing is so fucking heavy. It's got to be tungsten. It's heavier than my pillar. I don't feel like I have one this heavy. And I actually have a tungsten spinner. Let me bring out my tungsten spinner. I decided I was going to keep one, even though tungsten was not my jam. But I've gotten a little bit better when it comes to um, getting these um, holding heavier things. I just thought it was so cool. Um, and I've got a custom button on there and it's anodized. I just love this thing. Um, one of the first ever spinners I ever got. Quasar. This is the Quasar XL. Um, but this thing I think is like the heaviest thing I've felt. Holy shit. So what's cool, I guess, about this is that there are interchangeable weights. Now, what I didn't know when I first got into spinners is the big thing about spinners is how you can customize them. And people told me that and I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I understand now. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of explain, like I've got, I put a, a custom button on this. I mean, it's not a custom button, but this is what, I actually bought this from Kinetic Asian Pacific. Um, it had an old style button on it. I just thought it looked cool with like the metal, weight, metal weights there. And then I put a different um, um, bearing in there. I did the same thing with this bad boy, different, different button. This, I like the original button. A lot of the stuff I like the original button. This has a different button that came, then came with it. This one also, this one actually had a black, um, button, but you can really customize these things and make them look awesome. Same thing with this. Um, so, okay. So here's circular buttons circular buttons so they unscrew what what the fuck that's insane dude it's pretty ingenious though wow look at it this is actually the let's take a look at the actual middle of it whoa what what the fuck there's the bearing. Damn, this got a long ass hole in there. What the hell? Oh, okay, here we go. Cool, huh? You can just spin it like that. Kinda. Okay, so now we have, oh my God, my dog is freaking out. This one's annoying. <laughs> she doesn't like to be kissed. Don't judge me. 
There's a skin flap. I have to bite it. Mm, okay, you can sit on my lap. Okay. Focus, Melanie, focus. Okay, so... This screws on. He, I know he he weighed it. Yo, he weighed it. You can't be on me if you're going to be in the camera. I'm going to have to get Fidget Cat out here. Smooth as hell, though. I wonder if, like, you pay extra to have the different... Definitely like, I mean, this feels awesome, but I think I like the feel of the square ones a little bit better. We'll put those back on there. It's the same weight though. I wonder how much you would pay for the extra weights. Um, I will say, I wanna show you, there's another spinner that I have that is similar I mean, not similar, but I've seen a couple of spinners out here that have these removable weights like this. You see? The, the, the middle part is, I mean, the spinner is basically, let me take it apart and show you. You just unscrew each weight kind of like the, um, the cap, let's see. This is essentially what the spinner is. And of course, I've got the good bearing in there. Um, these, of course, I have, you know, my copper ones, but there's actually, I think they're called the billium, billiums, um, that are super, super rare and very, very fucking expensive. Um, but this one is not the billium. What the fuck is this one? Shit. Oh, two EDC. Oh, I forget the name. The two EDC makes it. But anyway, this is an example of one that has interchangeable weights. And people like to put the heavier weights on there because the heavier weight um, will. I will edit that. Will I edit that out? I will edit that out, right? Right? Okay, so people like the heavier weights because um, it allows for a really awesome spin. Now, for the longest time, I really didn't like heavy stuff, but I'm starting, it's starting to grow on me. Wow, look at that thing. This is also circular, but more cylindrical. Ow, bitch. I just hit my finger. Yeah. Something about spinning a really, really heavy fidget just feels nice. But yeah, this thing, I, I believe that this is the um, tungsten one. It's your shoes again. She's bugging me. Um, yeah. I think it's like 250. Is this the tungsten one? He said that he thought it was too heavy for him, that he might sell it. I would think about buying it, but A, it's not copper, and I already got something similar to that. This is the pillar. Um, it's not the same, but it's also chunky and pretty heavy, but nowhere near as heavy as that other one. Yeah. But I will say, definitely, definitely, definitely check out Kinetic Asian, Asian Pacific, the Horizon, one of the best spinners out there. I love the Tri. I love this one. Um, the Collision. And they're really not that expensive. Mini Collision. Um, they've also got like the bearing removal tool. This is what I bought this from them. And um, it's been great. Um, and then also I bought bearings from them as well. Um, but I'll put the link in the description. And uh, you definitely should go check them out. But once again, thank you guys for watching. And um, just some really, really cool fidgets out there. I would say, you know, the, the stuff from Kinetic Asian Pacific is like a, 
they're almost always like a sure thing. Like this, the quality is always good. They always got new stuff. Oh, and they also have a Facebook account page group. Um, so they always are announcing new stuff there and, um, you can actually get some custom stuff there as well. Um, you can message the, I think her name is Hat, Hatla, Hattia. She, um, you can ask her for some special stuff and, and pay for that. And, um, so every time I've ever ordered from them, oh, and it also their stuff always comes with a COA and, you know, a, a special bag. So there's, and it, everything is numbered. I think everything is numbered. No, I don't know if everything's numbered, but everything has a COA. Um, usually it takes like two to three weeks to get the stuff from them, which is pretty amazing since it's overseas. Um, I, th I, th I think none of the stuff is like a pre-order. It's all, um, stuff that they already have. And so they could ship it out pretty quickly. So, yeah. All right. Well, anyway, thank you guys.